This tool is programmed by uh, in Perl and DNS enum is a tool that it was designed with the purpose of enumerating DNS information about a domain. We can get information uh, by using DNS tool, a DNS enum tool over here. So what it does is that it guesses uh, the host address, the name servers, the MX records, uh, it, trans it tries the zone transfers, it gets the bind version, it also gets the extra names and subdomains via Google scraping. Brute force subdomains from file can also perform recursion on subdomain that have NS records. records. And it can also go ahead and perform reverse lookups on net ranges uh, and it can also go ahead and write down uh, domain IPs uh, on, into a text file uh, naming such as IP block or something. So you can just go ahead over here to start DNS enum. You can just type uh, DNS enum over here in the terminal but I would prefer if you are a newbie I would prefer going ahead over here and then starting it through over here. Perfect. Uh, the reason being I am telling you that is because and you should read all of these things because it will give you quite a better idea as to what each of these attacks does and how they work exactly. So it's not quite that hard as well. And as you can see we have the option for skipping the reverse lookups, disable ANSI color output. And we can also include the sub files over here, the CCP, UDP, datagram, timeout values. So in short, we have almost everything. We also have the whois command over here, which I can go ahead and combine and I have multiple lookups. So uh, this will give you, uh, so this is how the geeky look of the uh, DNS enum looks like. So if you want uh, to gather information about a specific website, just go ahead and add a specific website's name and be make sure that even in the previous tools that I showed you on Cal Linux, you never go ahead and type, let's say, I'll just open another one. Let's say if you're using any random tool, uh, so I'll just type random. Random is the name of the tool, any tool you are using. And if you want to go or gather information about a website, let's say Google or Microsoft. So you don't type www.google.com. You just type google.com. You don't type www because if that do, if you do that, then there may be some kind of complications which happens in Cal Linux. It is not able to recognize that properly and you will get some errors. So we don't go ahead and do www.google.com. We just do google.com. Now, uh, yes, I'll be using these. So uh, let's, uh, so let's assume that we wanted to gather information about Facebook. So extra names and subdomains uh, can also be uh, found out by via Google scraping. And most of the time, this is not working with all domains, but it does work sometimes. So let's go ahead and first gather information using DNS enum and we'll type facebook.com. And let's see what information we get. Okay, so we have the name servers over here, the IP addresses of each server. Now it's trying to get a zone transfer. It failed because uh, I did not provide any brute force file or any password file so that it can go ahead and crack the DNS query. So, but we can still go ahead and type some extra uh, subdomains or via Google scraping. So we will just go ahead and try to do that and let's check what uh, we, we get. So I'll type DNS enum and I'll type, let's say, p 5 s 20 facebookcom Perfect. So what it does is the P is the number of pages uh, that it would check and um, uh, that so I am uh, have provided over here as 5, so 5 pages it would check and 20 is the number of Google searches, search pages to process the default is 20 pages which I have provided and uh, S is the switch that must be specified and minus S is the scrap value. So the maximum number of subdomains that will be scrapped. And since this is not a functional, you can manually run uh, this command in a Google search uh, such as all in www.sitename and you will still get the same thing. So I'll first go ahead and run this over here and after that I'll go ahead and run the same thing to Google and I'll show it to you. Let's check if we get some more stuff. Zone transfer won't work because the reason being that I have not yet provided any random file to it. It has started scraping subdomains from Google for Facebook.com. So let's check what we get. Perfect. So it is scraped but it did not get anything because Google is most probably blocking the queries. And But this is how it works. And I'll show you how it works in Google if I go ahead and do the same thing. So I'll just type 
all perfect let's think sing see what we get perfect so we have all these subdomains for facebook and who all are using them so you can see that we have it for www.facebook.com and these are all the subdomains for these different people who have been using them so you can go ahead and gather this information and i'll finally show you how we can go ahead and brute force so in just in case this tool is not working uh, you can go ahead and gather information over there and then you can go ahead and come back over here to brute force these things so brute force subdomains open terminal and uh, it can go ahead and i'll just show it to you so i'll just type dns enum hyphen f dns period txt over here dns period txt would be your text file which contains a, a, a n number of passwords and you need to show uh, save it over here in the home and i'll just go ahead and add it uh, let me check if I can go ahead and okay perfect so I don't think that I can go ahead and show okay never mind so DNS hyphen F um, so F is the file name that it provides uh, it supports and it will read the subdomains from this file to perform the brute force so what you could do you could go ahead and create a DNS txt file have all the subdomains in the F and you can go ahead and brute force to check which, which subdomains it has and you can go ahead and type facebook.com it won't work over here because i have not yet specified anything inside the dns txt file if it had then it would have checked all these things for the subdomains and then it would have given me out the proper answer so that would be it for this tutorial in the next tutorial i'll be teaching you more about the, the different tools that we can see over here uh, let me just getting more information about dns dict dns map recon and all these stuff so, yep.